it's just a great gun. Now, I'm going to show it to you here on the video. First thing I'm going to do is check. The magazine's already out, but I'm going to check the chamber. Chamber's clear. This is an incredible weapon. It is super lightweight, and I have my PMR-30 in my bug out bag because God forbid anything happens and i got to bug out. I want something that can do a lot of different things. And the PMR-30, the pistol version, is a high-capacity mag that can hold 20, uh, 30 rounds of 22 Magnum, and 22 Magnum is very effective for whatever you have to do. You have to, you have to hunt small game, you got it. You have to defend yourself, you got it. It's lightweight, so it's not heavy, you got it. Well, if you look in this video when I post it probably on Tuesday, you're going to notice right now I'm, I'm looking at the handle, trigger guard, and towards the front of the receiver. This part looks just like the pistol version, except it was built into the upper part of the rifle. And that's pretty compact. Now, what they're talking about the collapsible stock, you just pull out of the stock and you hear all those clicks. I can adjust it to any length I want. And right here in front of the trigger guard, right there, is a little lever you push down and that allows you to push the stock back in. So you have a very compact weapon. Now, on the top, they've got a Picatinny rail from front to back. And I've decided to get a, rear dot, a red dot sight that is just the right height so when I use my flip-up sights, my Magpul flip-up sights, it'll co-witness. When I flip them up, like so, I can look through the rear sight. It goes right through the lens of the red dot to the front sight. So for some reason, my red dot goes on the blink and I can't use it. I don't have to worry about taking it off, even though I do have a quick release lever. I can just pop my sights and co-witness right through there and not have to worry about this not working. So that's a good aspect of it, too. It's got a rail on the bottom if you want to put lights or lasers or whatever extra stuff you want to put on it, if any. Now, I personally put a slip-on Packmeyer grip with a couple finger grooves. And the reason I did that was I've got a large hand, and it filled my hand a little bit more because the, the pie shape of the magazine, I'm going to show it to you in the video right now, if you can kind of see it, it's wider, it's wider in the top and tapers down, and it fits perfectly with the ammunition. And what happens is because my hand is a little bit bigger than most, that rubber grip that I slipped onto the handle fills it up and it has a couple of finger groove contours. So it just keeps my hand solid on the, on the weapon. But that's the magazine right there. And what's nice is the pistol mag goes into the carbine mag. It's interchangeable. So if I'm carrying, if I'm carrying my pistol, bugging out, and I got this on my shoulder, which is so lightweight, I can interchange all, all my equipment. So it's really good. The PMR30 is made by kel -Tec. Go to ANC Firearms. They sponsor this segment of the show. I can't you know, do it without my sponsors. And if you want a lightweight, compact, effective weapon, this kel -Tec CMR30 is a way to go. It's really an impressive weapon. You can do a lot with it. So give ANC uh, Firearms and Heidenhammer a call. The number is 254-983-4417. Tell them you heard it on the radio here and you want to order yours and they'll go hunt you one down. They're difficult to get, but they can, uh, they can find it for you. They've got a lot of different wholesalers they deal with and they can find you pretty much what you're looking for. ANC Firearms, 254-983-4417. Trey, let's take a break and when we come back, we're going to go over a bunch of things. I got some articles and I want to go over some malfunctions and how to clear malfunctions on a handgun. So we'll talk to you in just a little bit.